Hello, everybody. Welcome to Indigo Terra Odyssey. I hope you all had a great weekend. This morning's read is going to be about how you'll know when you have a life mission, when you are on your life path purpose, things that you'll feel, things that are going to come along for you, a feeling in your bones that you really can't like verbalize. You knew you were made for something specific and you're on some kind of timeline. In fact, knowing is what initially is going to bring you this energy and provide you with the right direction to get there. It's, you're going to have very intuitive um, understandings of these things and you have to let go of ego in order to kind of devise a nice mellow schematic so you don't just feel um, all you know, akimbo, because part of this is a struggle, right? Because your purpose is also your pain. Um, you go through really, really heavy things when those around you seem to have it a bit easier because you struggle, you know, there's a bigger picture, you know, you're connected to the collective, to the whole, to people. And there's something you want to voice, discover and understand. Right. And when we don't, you know, before we get to that understanding, there's this kind of like, muddied water that you feel like you're swimming through. Like I, I, I know what's going on, but um, you know, your mind is going quickly and sometimes it provides anxiety because you don't know if you're going to get there, but you definitely will because you won't be able to settle. That's part of it. You'll sometimes wish you could, especially when things get rough and people get mean and question why you can't just be quote unquote normal, but forget normal. Normal is not wanting to dig deeper, not wanting to know and find out the mystic, the magic, the healers, the light workers, and all of that kind of knowledge that comes with that. So you guys are going to have fantastic journeys. Don't be afraid of it. I know that I had a struggle right before I kind of gave into this because I just, a lot of people think this, especially if their ears start ringing and they have crazy dreams and um, all of this. They just think, they're almost having like a flight of fancy or they're hallucinating or there's like a little madness in them or whatever. It's not. The mystical is so vast and and so expansive and provides so much information at, to us at different times in different ways that when we just allow it and we accept it and we thank spirit, we thank the universe for this information, guidance, love and purpose and all of that stuff is flowing in. So let's see sort of what's going on for you. Oh, I'm sorry. We have three cards to choose from. I'm already like, hey, let me just go 20 steps ahead. That'll be good. So number one is partnership. Um, number two is the queen, woman, fertility, feminine power, sexuality, friendships. Number three is wealth, sacred journey, and awakenings. I'm sorry. And number one is the sacred journey. I can't even see in this light. The sacred journey, I think it says, and magic. They put brown on brown. I'm like, that's not the best idea. I'm going to tell you guys where I live. The temperature dropped like 30 degrees. It was 34 degrees when I woke up and there was like frost on the car. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, eh. I was like, oh dear. So let's see what is what. I'm going to let you guys look at those and let you make your choice. Yeah, I, you know, I just feel like, and it's not, I don't want you guys getting like, um, you know, afraid or anything going, Oh, what, what do you mean by struggle? It's just basically your mind. It's your ego versus your spirit at a lot of this because your spirit is going, you know, always do the right thing. Look for the good and everything, the information connect to this energy, have a greater understanding. So the struggle a lot of times really is just patience. I know for a fact that is with me because I'm like, I want the answers. Why am I feeling this way where everybody else is fine with this? Intrinsically, our soul knows when something's off kilter. And the exchange of energy has to be purified. So it's that kind of struggle. You know, it's not like um, it, p physical pain and stuff like that. It's one of those things where we just know that we need to ground out. Because if we know we have a mission, we naturally want to spend a lot of time in our upper chakras, you know. And we are meant to live on earth and in the present moment too. So there's all this stuff where we have to do root chakra meditations and kind of come down to earth and ground out because we can feel spacey and dreamy, right? A hundred percent comment down below. If you just had these moments where you've had entire conversations with somebody and then you haven't even heard a word they said, because you know, it's, it's some of the, those times where your mind gets on 
a certain level of understanding and then it tunes out what really isn't important for its next process. And then you're like, well, I'm missing out on an entire conversation. That's what we mean by grounding that we still have to exist and be respectful of things because others won't always get this regardless of whatever your specific purpose is. There's going to be people who don't understand that you feel such a draw to something. And sometimes it's inexplicable, right? It's like you can't explain this feeling. You can't always explain an intuitive drive towards something, understanding um, you being um, really pulled to do Reiki or healing work or d mostly it's to divulge a message as well, the new understanding of something, right? where something that provides you with such peace and balance, you want to share that word with others. So again, you know, some sometimes people just won't get it. But anyway, you are going, here's the good news, guys, you are going to be a magnet for synchronicities. One of my um, good friends always comments how synchronicity always seems um, to find me. And it does, especially when I feel like I just want to give up and rest from it. You know what I mean? Something or someone will come into my life and support me to stay on this path. A really beautiful, eerie, wonderful, divine kind of energy. You And, and birds and animals and all these things. It's very, very berserk or an actual like a little electrical flurry with the light. So just know these are all reassurances that you're on the right path and to not ever give up and realize there is always a greater understanding. So and when we look into it and we listen to readers and we watch and we investigate what's really happening, we get a greater understanding, right? I always see the world as kind of like um, like a daycare, like that's how I picture it. And there's all these children and they, they're dying to learn and, um, prosper and go out, but there's so much excitement, energy and tumult and, um, inattention and all of that. And it's kind of like, you kind of have to corral that and put the focus on what's important, you know, um, taking care of our oceans, reducing our carbon footprint, all of this, and, you know, really calming them because there's so much energy and when it's not kind of grounded and channeled and restful, it can be sporadic and fantastical and dangerous at times, right? So it's like one of those things. And we all have that energy too. You know, it is our ego at times. It's like, oh, just go out and consume things and get material items where really we should be focusing on what makes us feel good, grounded, and and divine, right? And mellow. So I'm going to start with number one, which is partnership. And let's see, let me take from the top of the deck. I just shuffle. You have the leap. So this is called ecstasy, bliss, and belief. And this lets you know that you'll feel it. You'll feel this bliss. You'll feel, it, it really does feel like ecstasy when you get this understanding of how free you really are, that you are the one that has all the choices, all the opportunities. You can choose any direction you go. You can be anything you want. One of those things. And sometimes you won't want to get it or want it because when you come to your own as an intuitive, your logical left brain is like, no, let's overthink this. You know what I mean? But forget it. Instead, just be that magnet of synchronicity. Listen to that. Take that leap. See all these beautiful things that are coming because they really are in big ways. And you're not going to be able to give up. That's a great thing. You won't want to give up again after you reach a certain understanding of stuff because this information will encourage you to keep going because it's so unbelievable. And um, knowing that you have a mission can feel a little egotistical at time. An empath's worst nightmare, but everybody intuitive or not can see how the consciousness of this earth is increasing, right? The shadows are coming up to be healed, and we as a population are becoming more loving, open-minded people because as individuals, we're trusting ourselves more. We're reclaiming our power. We're leaning into healing modularities. I'm sorry, modalities and lifestyles that really embrace rest, ease, and self-love. So when you feel it, you feel this bliss. Now you also have the hidden worlds, which is changing consciousness, awareness, extrasensory perception. As you plug into this, you're going to feel that um, you kind of know things a little ahead of time because you're on a kind of different frequency where you're really tapped into that energy. Oftentimes I'll read an expression on a face. I'll go and I'll already know what's happening in a room. You know, I'll know if somebody has just announced a death in the family or something like that because the energy is pervasive. So you'll start to feel certain things like that. You'll start to gain a certain kind kind of like insight and understanding. And it's very helpful when you tap into that in a very natural, beautiful way. So let's see what's happening in regards to your overall. Let me get this deck. We'll see what's happening with your overall tarot 
Whoa, son. So you are stepping into this light, this understanding. It's really wonderful. You're going to, you know, ignite something that's greater than, you know, we can even comprehend right now. But it comes with gradual understanding. Like every once in a while, I'll get a notion of philosophy. Something will land in my lap and I'm like, all right, I like things to learn things in such a curve so I can turn around and explain it to somebody, you know, in the most simplistic forms. And a lot of times metaphysical and things like that, it, 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 um, involves physics and, you know, time, all of that stuff. So I don't like to get to, um, supersonic with all that stuff. So basically how I describe it to everybody, all these new understandings, these awakenings, this stuff is, you know, we, we have synapses in our brain. Everything is like little conduits, conductors, connectors, and we're, we're working with energy, right? And it's just tapping into a higher form of energy that brings us information on a few extra levels besides just the 3d. And it's, it's like one of those things where it's almost like your hearing is there's more acuity in your hearing, your understanding, your comprehension things just go a little more streamlined because you're taking the ego and massive logic out of it that's trying to like comprehend everything and explain it and make it into a reasoning um sort of understanding where we don't have to because we don't have to understand everything we're not meant to right and the sun is letting you know that you've got this that you're gonna you know you're basically you're moving on to some really great things and you should be excited and i feel like um, your true path purpose is going to come up and you're going to have like much more patience, understanding, and, and also you don't feel like you have to be self-righteous or get your point across. If somebody doesn't understand it, accept or whatever, you're like, que sera, you know, c'est la vie. You're not going to let it bother you because you don't feel like you have to explain yourself to others. You don't feel like you have to over explain. You don't feel like you have to get your point of view across because that's the dissolving of the ego. I don't care if you agree with me type of thing, you know what I mean? This is what I believe and there you go and, and, and whatever, you know, your need to be right has kind of like dissipated and you're now just happy about what doing your life and doing you. And that's really wonderful because you do have this wonderful, rich understanding of, you know, your radiant self shining through right now. And it's so beautiful and you're feeling bright, happy, and you're not going to let the turkeys get you down. You're not going to be dissuaded from this beautiful path of feeling good, cleansed, lighter, relieved of the burdens that don't belong to you, which are others' opinions, societies, kind of weird. Like, I mean, with election day coming up and all of that, it's like, I just don't let myself be bothered with these things that are beyond my control. And that's what you're going to be able to do. And that is going to bring you such an innate sense of calm and wonder. So I'm very excited for you, group one. Yeah, you're just walking into this beautiful phase in a really, really wonderful way. So love and light to you. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to press like and subscribe. And all my links are down below if you need a private read. Um, there's lots of um, great readers out there. I love uh, divine miracles for this kind of aspect rock of the divine um, their notions philosophies are really beautiful and helpful as well and you can come over to instagram to sparkwist 11 and ask me anything if you want as well i always recommend people go over there and dm me and then you know i can help provide whatever answers i have and i like opening a dialogue so um, all my information is in the links below so love and light and this partnership i do believe too you're going to have somebody that comes in a kindred spirit that you're going to hook up with and you guys are going to help each other on this journey it's going to feel really really like you're you know you've got a little kindred spirit to bop around with and um, bounce ideas off and feel like in a really cozy head and heart space so beautiful so now we're on to the queen so this card comes up too when you're using and receiving more of your feminine power you're in a receptive stage which means you're ready to um receive messages you're ready to receive understandings that you're really able to win over friends and influence right now because you're able to um, be a really good listener and encourage other people to talk about themselves um, you're able to um, become genuinely interested in other people by grounding out listening um because you're at a phase where i feel like you're you're meant to lead 
certain groups, people are really listening to you. You're going to kind of gain an audience, whether um, it's on YouTube, whether it's at work or whatever, you have some new ideas and notions and people are really looking to you for advice and guidance because you have a very healing energy around you. You also have the Isle of Wonders, Revelation, Teaching and Discovery. I feel like you, if you're not already a teacher of some sort, you know, or so, a healer of some sort, this is one of your true callings. And I feel like you felt this. A lot of people get a little bit of um, doubt that comes in at times because they're like, well, anything that has to do with teaching or healing, or first of all, we absolutely want to know what we're talking about, right? This is about studying. I do feel like a lot of people get some little bit of information and then they just charge forward where I'll really study stuff in depth. So I know all the facets of it, where it's going, where it's leading and where it has a conclusion, all of these things. We, especially if it's medical, psychological things like that, it's like a lot of people just go out there with a tiny bit of information and they speak as if it's fact. So I wish people did kind of inform themselves a little bit better, but I feel like you are going to have one or two eras of specialty and really just become expert level at it. It's something that you've been wanting to do. Um, Reiki healing, tarot, all of these kinds of things, whatever it is, it's a kind of a pervasive um, notion to you all the time and you really want to go out and do it. And I feel like you're going to be really wonderful at it and you're going to be able to increase everything. You're going to, I also feel like you're, you're, you're bettering yourself in a lot of ways. Like you're either like learning chess, you're starting a journal, you're learning from your friends right now. You're avoiding negative people. You're reading up on a lot of issues. You're kind of writing a mental letter to your future self. We're going to get there. We're going to have a full understanding because like anything metaphysical or esoteric there, it's almost like there's no absolutes, right? It's not like mathematics and it's always different. The synchronicities, the message, the energies, right? And with being somebody who can download this information, you go through some superior highs and lows, right? Because it takes energy, it takes focus. And then some days you just need to not see people. You need to completely um, ground out and, you know, and relax. But, and then there's other days where you just get straight into action and you get these messages. They're so clear. You can't wait to, um, inform people of information. Right. And I feel like that's why a lot of YouTubers, a lot of bloggers and vloggers, they're so excited. They're so into it and they have to, um, prepare and watch out for burnout because when you get these, um, gusts of inspiration. It's like creativity with painters, right? You're just grabbing all your resources and going for it. I have to myself personally be careful of this too, because every little thing can all of a sudden just inspire me to make a video or connect with you guys. And I'll go over on Instagram and I'll go over on all my social medias and I will go for hours and hours because I'm so excited about some new concept or some new understanding. And it's usually something that can bring about a calm state of mind, a restful heart, you know, a peaceful soul, all of that, because that's the holy grail to me to have peace of mind to be helpful to put off a good energy a healing energy so when I find new avenues of that I go bonkers <laughs> and I think that that's going to be something that happens you're going to be radiating this health and this wonderment and you're going to really be attracting an audience and people that want to hear from you so I just need a sip of coffee really quick. So be really kind of um, understand. Let's see what your overarching energy is. Oh my gosh. Of course it's the high priestess. Let me pull one more too. Yeah. So you're really feeling emotionally balanced. Good. You're moving up this kind of ladder of understanding, calm, good notions, the right direction. And you're listening to your intuitive voice. You know what I mean? You're really, you're taking breaks when you need it. You're committing to your personal growth. That's a huge part too. Comment down below if you really are committing to your personal growth in whatever way, reading, um, reading, writing, um, working with crystals, being out in nature, grounding, really, really um, acknowledging any flaws that are in the system, quitting bad habits, cultivating new good habits, taking up new courses, um, your exercise routine, um, pulling other people in and, and kind of raising them to the challenge. You're learning from everything that's around you. I definitely feel like you're really feeling inspired to do different things. It's really, really beautiful. Yeah. See, you have messages, channels, and information. Skyfire, you're really tapped into that conduit of 
that extra knowledge. You feel like, you know, really fired up about things. And that's the most wonderful thing because when I woke up, it was really cold and I was a little sleepy. And then as soon as I get up and I see certain animals in nature and I go outside, I feel inspired and refreshed. And that's when I come back and make your videos like really early. It's gorgeous. I haven't even hardly begun my day in any way, except for thinking about inspiration. Start to do that. That's the sky fire energy. When your, your mind is a blank slate and you go, okay, Spirit guide, fill me up. What is going on? What should I talk about today? What should I um, put my energy into? That's a huge thing that's going to change for you in a great way too, group two, is you're going to be putting your energy into smart, wise endeavors. You're giving up a lot of this extra frivolous things because I feel like People sometimes just fill their days with um, light entertainment to kind of like pass the time, yet um, we're not really learning anything when we do that, you know, like too much Netflix, um, just whatever, you know, going out to Starbucks for hours and browsing on our computer. This is really talking about learning lessons and watching and observing and downloading this information. And now is your phase to do this in a really, really beautiful way. So I'm very excited for you. This card is amazing. I love these. So that's you group two, super magical phase you're entering. A greater um, kind of chapter of understanding. And it's so nice because that's when you can just kind of tap into it and relax a little bit and, um, you know, not be so harsh. Like when are the answers coming? Because they're going to come very quickly. And the cool thing is, is you can use your knowledge and information like a faucet. You can turn it on full stream when you want, and then you can shut it off, be restful, ground out and pull away when you want to, too. The choices are always yours. So beautiful energy group too. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to press like and subscribe and all my links are down below. If you need a private read, come see me on Instagram at sparkquist11. Um, I always have people just DM me if they have any questions. I love that as a fun form of dialogue over there as well. So love and light and we're going to move on to three. I'm just going to have a sip of water. Honestly, it gets to yapping and it's like, yo, remember to breathe. And I really purposely try to slow down because when people are, um, going extra fast in some component, it actually, it makes me feel hurried and rushed. So I purposely try to really slow my cadence down and, um, connect on a really mellow level because I know it's how a lot of you begin your day. You know, you, you're messaging me all the time and commenting that I love your voice and it's relaxing. So I have people that are very healing to listen to as well. And they usually speak a little slower, calmer and deeper. So it just makes you feel chill, right? It's like, there's enough hurry and worry in the world. It's like, let's slow down. Now, wealth. So this card too, I definitely feel like there's all these portals opening where people are having financial breakthroughs. And part of it is their attitude towards money. They, you know, they're letting go of lack mentality. As soon as they know the numbers are getting low, they don't focus on that. And they're not like, how am I going to pay this? How am I going to do that? They just release it. And in fact, they use like mental, all these kind of like mental games of seeing the number being like 1 million in the bank account, 10,000 um, income monthly. They write themselves checks. They write it down. I write down, you know, I'm going to be receiving $20,000 a month from various incomes, write stuff down. You start to feel it. You get an excitement. You put focus and intention behind money, knowing it's an energy and it's a form of exchange that we can, you know, do wonderful things with. We can educate ourselves and others. Um, we can have great celebrations. We can travel all of that. And we think of wealth in terms of that. Um, wealth is also abundance in any areas, you know, close knit family, um, health, all of that. So whatever, um, you see as wealth really bring that into the arena as well. So your first card is the angel gate cleansing, protection, and blessing. So I'm feeling right now, that you're in this beautiful stage where you're trying to clarify what you want through a mental cleansing, which is like, I don't need any of this old residue and garbage in my head that says I can't do anything where my ego is breathing down my neck to accrue materialistic things, kudos, attention, whatever. Um, you're letting that go and you're going to kind of cleansing. What really matters to me is my mind, my peace of mind that I feel grounded, safe together. Like right now when I'm speaking, I don't even hardly even feel my body. But when I first get up before I do that and I'm not 
not channeling, you sometimes feel the heaviness of mourning, right? And your aches and pains and whatever. So if you're doing something and you feel, you don't even feel your body, you're doing something right because you're, you're out of your body. You're completely in your soul's mission and you're so focused, right? A lot of people that are craftsmen and whatever they're doing or do spirit work or create jewelry or paint or whatever, you stop feeling your physical body because you're so mentally and spiritually into what you're doing that you remove yourself from that kind of 3D shell, right? It's amazing. And you have this like enormous um, focus on that. So I feel like that's sort of what's coming for you too. And all these blessings, you're going to feel them. It's going to be wonderful. So you also have the light dancer, which is illumination, the radiant self and shining soul. You're going to be moving into this phase where your soul just feels like it's beaming. You're going to attract a lot of people because what happens when you're in this phase, you feel good. You're radiating. You're radiating light, warmth, love, and things that is very, very conducive to um, like almost like bees to honey or moss to a flame. You're healing your bright um People sometimes, you know, they need that energy to be near it, to feel good. Like I know I'm like that usually in crowds when I used to go into certain places that I worked. If there were people in the locker room or somewhere where they were feeling low, you know, they just come up just to talk to me about crystals and ask me things and just kind of be next to me because... Um, like people on the stairs that I never even met, I remember would be like, oh, good energy. Like you smile, you radiate warmth, you, you let people know without even speaking to them that you love and care about them. It's a very dynamic kind of energy exchange, but it is felt and you're going to start to feel that. And it's going to illuminate a lot in your life. Why maybe the past got a little heavy because there's so many people out there that just want to be right. And they're so self-involved that they don't, they don't open their eyes to this bigger kind of light dancing, which is, oh, I see you. I feel you belong here. You have value. I feel your energy. Is there some way I can help you? Just thinking that, you know, you don't have to say anything and just smiling. It's amazing what it can do. I'm not saying some big ass goofy, like, um, you just came out of the asylum smile. Just, yeah, I'm not, you know, I'm not I'm struggling for, you know, um, one upmanship on you. Cause sometimes that just happens, you know, people waiting in line, people doing things. It's like people start to kind of curry to get next, all of that. But you're going well beyond that because you also have the seer card, which is future prospects, decisions, and seeking guidance. I feel like you have some big questions and you know that you have a life path purpose that is maybe a little like unknown to you or you're journeying towards that and it's making you excited. But the one thing I was saying too, once you apply patience, yet excitement and anticipation towards that, you'll feel good. You'll feel like you're involved in your life, that you're really kind of evolving in a way that you didn't know was really possible. Like, wow, why do I feel so light, free and blissful? It's because you don't care what other people think. You're not explaining yourself to other people. It's your journey. You are not being stepped on. You have set boundaries. You're not um, going in a million directions because you're choosing one thing that you want to work towards. You're giving it your focus, your love, your attention, and you're making step towards it. It is about the journey. It is about the, you know, playing the game, not if you win at the end, not the finish line. It's how you participate, right? A hundred percent. So let's see what is going on in terms of your overall tarot. And oh my God, is that the magic? Oh my God, it is a magician. Cool. So you have the magician and the horse. So this is wonderful. So first of all, you're going to inspire loyalty in your friends and family right now. You're going to bring in loyal people, loving people, people that care, um, but you're going to have a sense of freedom. The horse represents having freedom, being able to move, run from place to place, really enjoying yourself in a natural, healthy, grounded, earthy way where, you know, it's like superficiality is just going to kind of evaporate. Um, you having to be in a pack or pack mentality is going to evaporate. You're just going to be running free and letting your thoughts really kind of like mull over what you really want to do, but taking time with that, not feeling like rushed at all. You ever see a horse, it'll run and go crazy and then it'll just stop and it'll stop at a stream for an hour and hang out. You're really going to um, invest in your own peace of mind and your understanding about all this all these wonderful things that are out there, these little tiny whispers um, and what to respond for. You're going to cherish things like you haven't before, like respect, appreciate and marvel at your life. The people in it, the animals, the outstanding um, gifts that constantly come to you. And this gratitude is going to bring more and more of the same in a very big way to you. You know, it's like, you know, you have 
the beautiful authority of spirit where it's like speaking so clear to you and you're going to feel like you're going through this rebirth and renewal and you're going to feel like you're in this place of beautiful sanctuary and understand the mysteries the unknown all of that by really focusing in on it listening to the right people listening to yourself and knowing that you've accrued this information for a purpose so beautiful energy group three if you're new to my channel welcome don't forget to press like and subscribe and all my links are down below hooray i'm going to go upload